Joe, I'm very jealous. Zia's is one of my favorites. Yeah, we're happy to have Zia's in the kitchen this morning. And we've got a couple different things we're going to work on. This is David Cross. David, good to have you here. Hi, right, thanks. Thanks for being here. Well, you're going to work on a salad and shrimp and grits. I can't wait for the shrimp and grits, and I can't wait for the salad, which we're getting started in this segment. So what do we need to do here, David? All right, well, we've got a bunch of different ingredients here. Um, the pepper jelly salad is our pepper jelly vinaigrette, which we sell in the restaurant. All right, and I and see a use, couple other things there as well. Absolutely. We sell all our sauces, and the, the new Rouse's all carry them, too. So Fantastic. We thought this was a good opportunity to get out and let you see how the salad's actually made. It's one of our biggest sellers. We also sell it at lunchtime with grilled chicken breasts on top of Ooh, it. Ooh, that sounds so good. So it makes a full meal. No doubt. And uh, we have some other special ingredients that are pretty unique to Zia's that go into the salad. Of course, we have the baby spinach, and that's about six ounces of the baby spinach right there. And if you are a salad lover, you know, spinach, very healthy for you. Extremely so. And then we have these uh, sun-dried tomatoes that are specially made for us as well. They're marinated, and they have some olive oil, spices, mm. um, basil, things like that mixed in with them. And some golden raisins. So we put a, obviously you have to measure exactly every time. It's real important. Yeah, this so. isn't your uh, typical salad here either. These right. are some things that you won't find in and a lot these, of places. And then these, these are extremely unusual. These are made for us in Dallas, Texas. They're a candied pecan that are roasted and, and kind of caramelized. Wow. So we add those into them as well. All right. And so we have all those ingredients in, and then we're going to put in to that, we're going to mix in about three ounces of our pepper jelly vinaigrette, mm -hmm. which is our own special recipe. And you're just eyeballing it there because you're a professional. Like I said, it's extremely important <laughs> to measure accurately at all times. Sure. So, All right, so mixing that all together, and I also right. see some, uh, what do we got? Is that feta cheese over there or blue cheese? This is actually gorgonzola, which is a blue cheese. It's an Italian, it's a softer, creamier style blue cheese, and it really blends really well with the dressing. It kind of melts in with the dressing, and it really makes the dressing taste, taste a whole lot richer and gives it a whole lot of character and everything. Sounds and then great. the other things we're going to finish the salad off with are the Kalamata olives mm -hmm. and then the, the blue cheese on top, and then we have some special roasted sesame seeds that we're going to put all over the top at the end. Looking forward to that. Now, why don't you tell the folks a little bit about Zia's Rotisserie and Grill? All right. Well, we're based out of New Orleans. Mm -hmm. um, we started by three chefs down there. Um, they have a couple other concepts as well. But uh, we, we do um, eclectic American food, inspired American food, as we mm -hmm. call it. We're, we're really known for our rotisserie chicken and for our Thai ribs and our smoked ribs and things like that. But we also have a lot of stuff that, that other restaurants don't have, like our, our etouffee. We bring a little New Orleans over to Mobile. And uh, we also have a special deal for Father's Day that all the dads that come in get a free $10 gift card for their next visit wow. the next time they come. That's a great and, deal. Uh, yeah, and we're over on Airport Boulevard. Been there for a very long time. Mm -hmm. And uh, come out and see us. It's a, great, it's a great restaurant. Sounds good. All right, so go check out Zia's Rotisserie and Grill, especially on Father's Day, so you can pick up one of those $10 gift cards. Chastity, I get to get one of those because I'm a, I'm a dad. So well, cool, I should check it out. I can tell you I'm not a father, Joe, so <laughs> I can partake in that. I am love to fish. I might have to go out there and compete with Katie, Joe. We are in the back in the kitchen, and you know what fishing does works up an appetite. We're with David here from Zia Rotisserie and Grill. We are finishing up some awesome dishes now. I told you when I first got over here, if you haven't been to Zia's, I recommend their hummus, their Mediterranean hummus. It is wonderful. We're not making that, unfortunately, this morning, but we're making something just as good. We just finished up a salad, so let's talk about the salad. Absolutely. Okay. Well, we, we as we said earlier, we tossed it all with the other ingredients, put it in the bowl, and we put the gorgonzola over the top, sprinkled it with the sesame seeds, and we put some, uh, some marinated Kalamata olives on top. And, and this is their pepper jelly spinach salad, mm -hmm. obviously really good for you because of the spinach. Absolutely. And lots of other things. And as I said earlier, at lunchtime you can get it with the three pieces of grilled chicken on it, and then we actually uh, put some of the sweet chili glaze on top of the chicken. Ooh, that so, sounds good. You yeah. also have a tuna salad that I mentioned, mm -hmm. too, that's also really good. Yep, <laughs> oriental tuna salad. <laughs> we'll yep. get off my favorites and start talking about what you're cooking. All right, our next dish, we are making shrimp and grits, a Gulf Coast tradition. Absolutely. So how does Zia's make it different? We make it different because we use a little, we put a little of a New Orleans twist on it. Mm -hmm. We actually use a, an etouffee, which is obviously a Cajun or New Orleans style brown roux based vegetable sauce okay. that goes on there. And we start out with just a little bit of oil in the pan. Okay. 
And then we put some authentic New Orleans andouille sausage in the pan as well. We're now, gonna... if someone wanted to make this at home, would it matter what kind of sausage that nope. they put in there? You could use the Konica or whatever, but we use the andouille. Okay. Um, you know, that's, that's the traditional Cajun-style sausage. It has potatoes in it and a okay. few other things. And it's kind of like a meal in itself, actually. But it's made for us in New Orleans. Ooh, that sounds good. And we kind of blacken up the, or brown up the, the sausage pieces a little bit. And then we're going to put about four ounces of what we call 40-50 uh, shrimp. But it's a, it's a medium-sized shrimp, about, about the biggest size shrimp you'd want to get without having to have them deveined. Is it good to have the bigger shrimp with shrimp and grits? Um, you can do it either way. We like to use the smaller ones on this because we're going to saute it very quickly. Okay. Whereas the bigger shrimp take a little bit longer to cook. Right. And so you're just going to saute those up and when the shrimp start to get done. You just let me know if I'm in your way. I see oh, you no. trying to flip things over here. I'm just kind of in the way. I just want to make sure you don't get sprayed or anything. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Well, as far as the grits are concerned, grits, part of the South, as I mentioned, a tradition. What is the secret to a good grit? Basically, it's all in the ingredients. Okay. Everything that we do is simple, but okay. we use the best ingredients that we can get. Okay. Um, we don't try to skimp on ingredients, and our grits, what makes our grits stand out a little bit is because we actually take roasted fresh corn, so we take, we take fresh corn and roast it with onions, and then that gets folded into the grits after we get the, done making the grits. So it adds even another notch of flavor to the grits themselves. Our grits are, we're kind of world famous for our grits. Once, yep. you, once you've tried our grits, no one else's grits really, really cut the mustard. <laughs> right. And I know, Zia's, y'all kind of do a seasonal menu with the season change. Mm -hmm. Have y'all come out with the summertime menu yet? Not yet. It's going to be coming. We just got done with the, uh, with the seafood menu, which okay. is our biggest promotion every right. year. We start it with uh, Ash Wednesday and run it all the way through Mother's Day. Right. And every year we have something different on it with a different style of crab cakes, usually something involving alligators. We had some fish tacos on there this year. Oh, cool. Cool. And uh, so once you get the shrimp, the shrimp starts to turn color and it's, it's just about getting done. We're going to put our etouffee in there. And as again, I said, this is a, a traditional brown roux based etouffee. It's not, it's not particularly spicy or anything. Tell us what's all in this etouffee. The etouffee is, well, again, you start with a brown roux where you take the butter and the flour and the seasonings and you just cook it and cook it and cook it and cook it until it gets like a golden brown okay. nutty color. And then it's got the, the basic Cajun trinity in it, you know, with the, the, the bell peppers, the onions, and the celery. Okay. And it's all cooked down together for a very long time with spices. It's got a little cayenne pepper in it. It's got your traditional New Orleans style spices in it. Well, cool. And, but you can smell it. It, it kind of has that nutty kind of yeah. smell and flavor to it. And that's what really makes our shrimp and grits stand out a little bit. Well, good. Well, Joe's going to be back in the kitchen coming up with our last cooking segment. He loves cheese, so cheese grits. I'm sure he's going to have a great time with your grits there. And we're going to try this, all this food. It looks great, doesn't it, Danny? Yes, it does. And it's Back in the Studio 10 kitchen with David Cross, who's been going to town on a couple different things today. First, we had that fantastic pepper jelly salad that you made, and now the Zia's famous shrimp and grits. That's right. We've got it all cooked together now, and we've taken a couple servings of our roasted corn grits and put them in the, in the bowl here. We're going to pour the rest of the sauce and the shrimp and every, all the good stuff all around it. Now, you were in New Orleans for a while at the Zia's in New Orleans, and now you came here. Did they bring you in to, uh, to, to bring some of that flavor over this way? Or? Yeah, I had some family that lives here in yeah. town and stuff, and, uh, you know, we're a, a growing company, and uh, I've been in New Orleans for about two years, so mm -hmm. it's another... Another new market and another new place for me to come to and Very bring the Zia's food and the Zia's experience to everybody here. And as we mentioned earlier in the show, if you want to go check out Zia's, Sunday is a great day to do so because of a Father's Day promotion that's going on. That's right. You get a free gift card for every dad that comes in. Actually, mm -hmm. in New Orleans, they get a free four-pack of our Zia beers, but we're not allowed to do that in Alabama. So we give you, we give you a nice gift card to come back for your next, <laughs> your next visit, and you can always use it to get a beer. So. There you go. All right. So it all works out in the end. I got a fork already. Do all right. I, I want to try some out of the... Can I get some sausage, a shrimp, and some grits all in one bite? If I do this, this is a major bite. You're going to have to talk. Why don't you tell us about some of the other menu items while I take a bite of this? 
Absolutely. Like I said, our, we're known we're known for our for our grits. They're different from anybody mm -hmm. else's. We also sell a tremendous amount of the ribs. We have a Thai style rib, which we put our Thai sauce and the Asian herbs and blend and the sesame mm -hmm. seeds on top. Really, really good. We have a lot of fresh seafood. Uh, the tuna salad that Chastity was talking about. And uh, basically, everything that we do is, is very simple, but it's all fresh ingredients. Everything's made in-house, every day fresh, and it's just good stuff. And if it's as good as this is, which I know it is, because I've been to Zia's before as well, go check it out. It is fantastic. Great work today on the show. The recipes are online. The Father's Day promotion is Sunday, and hopefully we'll see you again soon, David. All right. Thanks so much. Thanks so much for coming in. We'll be right back with more Studio 10.